The King is back with a new addition of his darts by Winmore, an easily identifiable dart shape now with added grip. Now I was sent these when they first came out, but wanted to spend a bit more time with them to see how I felt. And with three scallops and plenty of grip, they were always going to be an interesting dart to throw. And with Merving showing some of his old school brilliance lately, let's see if these darts are helping him get back to his glory days. Now if you're new to the channel and enjoy the video, please click a like on it. And if you want to see more from me, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell if you don't want to miss any exciting videos from the world of darts. The striking red box has Mervyn on the front with some nice featured cuts showing off some of the features inside the box. The addition I've gone for is 90% tungsten and weighs 22 grams, although they also come in 24 grams and 20 grams in the soft tip version. On the back we have the Mervyn King signature shape which almost looks like bamboo cane rather than a dart and it gives us some of the specifications of the darts. Now let's get into the good stuff and open up these bad boys. Inside is a black dense foam insert to protect the darts with the vector stems down here and the nice circular Winmore metal point protector holding the three 90% tungsten barrels. This is also finished off with the Prism Alpha flights in black, red and grey. Nothing unusual in the packaging from what we're used to and with the clear window in the front and the cuts it presents the darts nicely. Without further ado let's get the barrels out and see what these new grippy cuts between the knuckles of the bamboo like scallops look like. You must admit they look pretty cool and certainly unusual compared to your average shaped dart and I'm impressed by the cuts and the way the colours break up the barrel. The grip is the same in all of the scallops with dual ring grips with long cuts to break it up and provide further grip to the barrel. At the knuckle of each scallop is a raised dual ring which should make for an easy reference point to feel each time you grasp for the dart in your preferred position. The barrels move into the vector stems which are plastic with metal tops, which I also quite like, though they can be quite hard first couple of times using them to put the flights in as it's a snug fit. The Prism Alpha flights finish the look of the darts off nicely and I don't really have any aesthetic complaints with the darts provided the paint lasts, which only time will tell. In this close up you can see more clearly the sloping scallop of each segment and the thinnest section of the dart is 6mm compared to the thickest which is suggested to be 7mm though it doesn't actually feel like that even if holding the knuckles. I'm really glad they added the long cuts to break down the ring grip, it gives a little something extra which is actually quite a simple cut but with the polished finish, onyx coating and vitalic polish off they are pretty look good looking darts that are very unique not for everyone, but certainly worth adding to your collection for the unique shape alone if you don't already have a set of his smooth barrels. Quite bizarrely, when I threw these darts, the middle section of the dart lay the flattest, but only by a fraction, as the dart levelled out quite well. You'll see quite similar entry from all three scallops with my throw, which is unusual but pleasantly surprising. The grooves provide a confident grip that never slipped out of my fingers and the lips of each scallop were clearly defined making it easy to feel where I was holding for each dart. This aids in consistency. This stem is also a smidge longer than I throw and yet I was able to get a nice high tail entry with the provided stem and flight combo so it was better than I expected. I will say though of all the sections I threw from the front felt the most foreign, mainly because the point needs to be longer if I grip like that as I use my third finger to stabilise the dart and usually rests on the point, which is easy to resolve if you put in a longer point and that should fix the problem. As usual I will show you how they lay in the board with some different flights. The slim flight sat the flattest in the board, but also the Robson and 8 system pulled the back down quite significantly. These were all thrown with a mid grip and I actually enjoyed the feeling that most of the darts had with these different flights. The silver points look quite nice with these darts but I did encounter a few dropouts which I'm confident were purely point based. So if you want more confidence in your darts staying in I would recommend minimally roughing up your points with some sandpaper or repointing them as I tend to do. But all in all with all of the flights I've tested and shown you here I don't think that they were long enough 
in terms of the barrel to actually cause a big issue in the flight with any flights that provide reduced drag and end up lowering the level upon entry into the board. Now I know many of you out there, like Johnny Cree from Custom Darts Flights, prefer Mervyn King's smooth bamboo style barrels, but for me who likes a grippy dart, this SE addition to the Mervyn King dart range is a welcomed one. The dart's unique scallops are certainly something to try for yourself, and for the collectors out there, it's an unmistakable shape to add to your collection. At £48.95 it's nicely in that category of player endorsed darts and a good buy based on the machining, finish and value of dart. For front grippers who need the stabilisation of the point, you may need longer points as that front scallop is quite small and far forwards, so consider longer points but for me and rear grippers, the scallops will provide you with confidence that you will grip the dart from the same place each time and that makes these darts a nice consistent barrel to throw albeit quite unique in how they feel, which may not be for everyone. But you should certainly be trying these darts. If you have these darts, please leave your comments below as I'd love to hear what you think. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you want to hear more from me. Well, that's all for now. Enjoy your arrows and remember, love darts.